The first day of classes come during an ongoing nationwide teacher sh shortage. And we wanted to know how that shortage impacts schools in our region. News 3's Danny Valle takes a closer look. Is it a van? Early dismissal at Heron Elementary to cap off day one of the new school year. Heron Superintendent Nathaniel Wilson was out making sure students found their parents. Yeah, it was good. It's actually a really smooth morning for us. Uh, it's always exciting to get kids back in the buildings and the teachers have been in for a couple of days now. Teachers arrived Monday to prepare their classrooms and their lesson plans. And right now, the school district's teaching roster is in good shape. Across the Heron School District, there's one teacher for every 20 students, and while that ratio is good, Wilson says that could be better. We can afford to have a few more students per teacher, but if we can keep it a little less than 20 at the kindergarten and first grade level, that actually benefits us. We had about 11 teacher positions vacant in Massac County. We had two in Johnson County. It doesn't look like we had any in Williamson County and four in Franklin County. There were 17 vacant positions out of about 600 teachers across Region 21 in 2021. That's according to Lori LaCroix, the regional superintendent. In a survey of regional superintendents in Illinois, 96% reported concerns with substitutes and 90% say it's going to get worse. That's why LaCroix says the region is offering short-term substitute trainings once a month to provide a safety net for teachers and the students who will take care of us in the future. We just hosted one today. We had 17 substitute uh, trainees in here today signing up to get on the sub list. They'll be taking care of our community. They'll be taking care of our government. And it's important to share our experiences and our time. In Williamson County, I'm Danny Valle, News 3.